Hello everyone, so I'm here taking a walk and um, uh, while I'm working a little bit with you I would like to discuss a subject about uh, opening a shop, opening a business in China or a restaurant in China, uh, opening a business in fact. Uh, what are the three main things that you need? So, uh, what are the three requirements, three things you need to be successful? So one thing you need um, is you need a Chinese person. So there are many foreigners who will come to China and they think they will be able to open a business and uh, let me tell them um, <laughs> this is not possible. If you are not Chinese you will never be able to open a business in, uh, in China. If you are, want to open a business in China you need to be Chinese or you need a Chinese person. Uh, why is that? Of course, as a foreigner, you, you may open a foreign company, but this uh, will lead you to many complications. You will need to pay more tax, everything will be longer, everything will be more difficult. So on the administrative side, uh, you cannot do it. It will be very difficult to be competitive and to compete against other Chinese companies um, because there will be so many complications and you will need to wait to, to waste a lot of time. Everything will take longer and um, also you will need to pay much more money. So, uh, so that's, uh, that's the point. It's, uh, it's better if you register a Chinese company instead of, uh, of a foreign company. And not only on the administrative side, but uh, being a foreigner, if you sell to some Chinese people and you don't have the help or you don't have a Chinese person with you, it will be also very difficult. Um, the Chinese uh, customers, they will not trust you. Uh, they will trust you, but they will think maybe it will be complicated to buy from, uh, from you because you are a foreigner and um, maybe if they have some specific question, it will be more difficult to deal with you. So uh, it's always better if you have a Chinese person, you need a Chinese person with you. Uh, as a foreigner, you will bring something, you will bring um, some credibility, you will bring some face, but you always need a Chinese person. So that's the first requirement, uh, you need a Chinese person and uh, it's even better if you can register Chinese company and, and um, it will be very difficult if you register uh, foreign companies especially if you are not a big company so that's the first requirement or else or except if you are in Hong Kong but that's that's something else of course and it depends on the business a little bit but uh, okay. so the first requirement the other requirement that you will need is you will need some money you will need some investment you need a minimum investment the money is not the most important but you need a minimum investment and um, if you don't have money, for instance, you will, you will have to rent instead of, uh, of uh, you, you, maybe you will need to suffer a big rent. There are many things you will not be able to do without money, so you need some money. Whatever your business is, uh, if you open a shop, if you open a restaurant, you need some money. And, uh, and uh, you need to make sure that you have enough money for your project. And the third thing that you need is the know-how. You need the know-how. You need to understand the Chinese markets. You need to understand what the customer really wants, what, uh, what uh, brand they want, what packaging they want, uh, what products they want, what do they like, what don't they like, uh, what is the image, what is your image, uh, what should be, where should be your location, uh, who should be your customers. Mm. So you need to make sure about all this. So there are the three things uh, that uh, you need if you open a business in China. I hope you like the video and uh, I will talk to you next time. Take care everyone. Thank you again for watching my videos and uh, for following the channel. See you soon. Bye bye.